we have so many bugs just coming up out of the ground. It really is amazing to, to see and hear. Uh, I do know that it startles some people. The noise level can be quite loud. It's not necessary to involve the police, though. Uh, they'll be out here in a few weeks, uh, hopefully uh, by the end of June, and you won't have to experience it anymore. And they've been waiting 13 or 17 years to get above ground. They don't want to spend this precious time that they have in a jail cell. So we know that these are two different broods because one group that's emerging uh, sort of concentrated in the Illinois and Wisconsin and Iowa area, that's a 17 year brood. So they've been waiting 17 years to do this. That's three different species uh, and they have some visual and auditory things that they they uh, that make up their body that uh, help us to differentiate them from the 13 year cicadas, which are a part of the great southern brood, uh, which is uh, going to be emerging across much of the southeastern United States. Luckily, as adults, they don't eat very much. They do most of their eating as immatures below ground. And when they come above ground, they're really only looking to do a couple of things. The males are looking to sing, and the singing is to attract females. Uh, I often joke it's kind of the world's darkest uh, Mardi Gras because it's just a bunch of singing and, and other things and then dying. So it's, it's not about eating when they come above ground, and that's one of the reasons that we don't consider them major pests. Uh, they're females when they lay their eggs. There can be some problems. They can uh, cause the twigs to break in certain trees, and that can be problematic for fruit growers, but we just wrap nets around those trees and end up protecting them.